What's good, everybody? I'm Anthony D. Welcome back to the channel. It's good to see your beautiful faces. Listen, today we are talking future DLC content. Not only that, but we're talking licensed future DLC content from the films. In today's video, we'll be going over some possibilities of what we could see in terms of licensed content, as well as we reach out to the community and see what kind of characters and abilities we would like to see. But if you haven't already, make sure to slash that like button. Join the community today, okay? We need you here. Subscribe with notifications set to all so you don't miss out on future horror gaming videos. In a recent dev stream, Wes brings up some interesting ideas about future licensed content. One of them outright stating that Gunn does want content from the other films in the game, which for the most part was to be expected, but what's exciting is hearing him say that those conversations are happening. Does Gunn want the other films in the franchise or in some capacity, do they want that in this game? Short answer, yeah. Um, but it's not like I can walk into Walmart and say, yes, I'll take one Texas part three, please, and, and, and I have it. It doesn't work that way. Um, it, it's usually multiple people have to say yes. Multiple people have their hand out, meaning I have, you, know, you have to pay licensing fees for all those things. Um, and at the end of the day, you have to always figure out when you wrap all that cost in to just acquiring it, and then you have to build it. It's like, can you make enough money to offset what it costs to do it? Um, sometimes the answer is no. But do we want to do it? Absolutely. Are there conversations happening right now? Absolutely. With that said, I thought it would be fun to talk to you and the community about future characters and maps that we would want to see come from the movie screens to our gaming screens. The most obvious character is Chop Top from Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. The amount of fan outcry for this character to finally make an appearance is one thing, but Wes going even further and teasing a photo of the character's actor Bill Mosley stopping by Gun Interactive's office has all but confirmed that Chop Top is on the way. In terms of what his ability and weapons could be like, some have the idea of him playing similar to the hitchhiker wielding a metal clothes hanger. Sheriff Hoyt would be fun. Carries around a shotgun and has limited amounts of ammo. Three to four like Hitch has a few traps. Otherwise, he can whack people with his gun. That would be awesome for his basic attack to be him swinging his shotgun. I think shooting a victim would be OP unless it has to be absolute point blank range or an insta kill which could lead to some cool moments. Imagine a hitchhiker chasing you and you turn a corner and Hoyt is there with his gun to your face and he gets you. Making it have to be a point blank rage to be effective is a good balance and could lead to some creative setups by the family and honestly would look pretty cinematic. I've said this many of times in our streams, but I love this idea. Sheriff Hoyt is another character from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre remake that players have shown a huge amount of support for. The idea of him having a shotgun or revolver that could work similar to Leatherface's overhead attack, a high damage attack that knocks the victims to their knees that would have a long cooldown between attacks is an amazing idea. We need remake content in the game. The 03, 06 remake alone are chock full of potential characters, maps, skins, lore, and etc. At this point of the video, we need to bring up something Wes briefly touches on in the community stream. The idea of how this type of content would fit in game. As I'm sure most of you already know, the game's lore takes place a few months before the movie's events. Gunn has been working hard on crafting a story and a background for all characters and maps in the game. With Maria Flores going missing, her boyfriend Danny and her sister Anna going looking for her. Anna enlists the help of her friends, which leads them all to unfortunately cross paths with the family. So the idea of releasing content from the films of the franchise would break this level of storytelling and lore building, which is why Wes asked us to how, how important is that? How important is Texas 2? How important is Chop Top? How important is et cetera, et cetera, Jessica Beale's character, for example? Like, is that weird that you see her running around in this? Like, yeah, that's kind of weird too. Like the time frames are off. What are we, what's this now? So. There's a lot of creative discussion that has to go into that too. And there's also the like, what were you guys put up with? Is that not weird to you? Or are you like, nah, man, it's cool, just do it. Mm -hmm. I just want Chop Top in the game someday. As for lore, I don't really care too much either way. I'm just here for the gameplay. I don't want a metaverse. Let's say they add TCM2 content. On the maps associated with that film, you cannot select the hitchhiker or any of the other groups searching for Maria. You can only select characters and skins associated with that timeline. 
which with that idea i don't think it's very realistic in terms of matchmaking and it's very limiting to the player's experience the last thing we need in this game is making matchmaking take any longer than it already does when it comes to lore building versus a tcm metaverse i land on the side of the tcm metaverse i still think lore building can be done but having the game represent the entire franchise is more important to me there you have it ladies and gentlemen that's all we have for today when talking about future content from the films and what we could see in the movies i would love to know again what do you want to see what maps what characters what abilities would you give them how would that work what matters more to you in terms of the lore and the story of the game versus the metaverse of texas chainsaw master in the franchise and again if you haven't already subscribed with notification set to all and i'll see you in the next one but remember the rules to survive don't do drugs don't have sets oh yeah don't die Got darker days in this grind here Never pay no mind to what I hate to say Criticize myself more than anybody anyway Living dreams but these nightmares keeping me awake Demons whisper in the dark telling me it's a mistake To have faith in my own grind But I got power over my own mind I feel like, feel like, feel like, I feel like Dr. Strange, yeah